guys. Okay, so I'm running kind of late, um, but I'm on my way to get my hair done. I know you can't see it right now. I'll do like a proper before and after. My hair has grown out so much. Did you guys see up here? It grew out so much. I have so many split ends now. I really need a trim. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna trim it a little bit and do like the same type of hairstyle, like, you know, where I add a ton of volume in my hair. Um, and then of course, I'm also gonna get a touch up because I need it badly. My hair kind of needs like a little bit like toning. I don't know, you guys. All I know is I'm going to my favorite place, IGK, and I'm taking guys with me. So let's go. Before. Now you can really see it. Honestly, the only thing I'm really looking for is like a touch up up here. Do you guys see how like my natural hair is growing out like down to here? So we're just gonna touch up here um, and maybe probably add like a few more highlights, especially for the summertime without going too light. So there's the before. I will also probably insert a picture somewhere here and you guys will see the whole process start to finish to the end. I think like three months Maybe ago. Longer. Yeah. Uh, so we're in a new shape realm. We're gonna grow it out. So we need to change the proportions. We're gonna trim it so she still has her length. Okay, perfect. Whatever he said. I just told Aaron like I don't want to cut too much. Do whatever you want. And I like I just fully trust everyone here. So they just do whatever they want with my hair. We'll see what we end up with. of this video that I actually cut and colored my hair once again we kept everything exactly the same I really needed a trim and I needed to get rid of the split ends in terms of my actual color we just went a little bit lighter only in the front like these pieces right here the ones that actually frame my face we just went lighter there but kept my hair exactly the same color as last time but anyway Today I'm going to be talking all about my favorite products for my hair, um, everything from like shampoos to dry shampoos to hair oils, everything that I use on a daily basis to protect my hair, I'm going to be talking about today. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. Today I'm going to be talking about two shampoos that I've really been using more than others recently and these are right over here so the first one I think I talked about in my last video um, and I also have talked about this on Instagram this is from a brand called Rita Hazan and this is the true color shampoo which gently cleanses and protects color treated hair so that's perfect if you are someone like me and wants to protect your hair color and prolong how long your hair color actually lasts this is a great shampoo to use it's super gentle on the hair but still deep cleans my hair. And then the next one I have is the Moroccan Oil Color Continue Shampoo. And this, I believe, is brand new to the Moroccan Oil line and actually very new to me as well. I think I tried this for the first time maybe two weeks ago, maybe a little bit less. I don't even remember. Like, very recently, I've only used this like three times in my hair, but these I absolutely love because they really do, even the shampoos, they do such a good job at conditioning my hair while cleaning it so my hair just feels so like well nourished after I wash it but again it's protecting my hair color let's talk about some of my favorite dry shampoos first since we just talked about regular shampoos so the first one I've literally talked about I think like 10 times all over my social media but this is like my favorite drugstore find ever this is from Dove and this is the Refresh and Care Dry Shampoo. This is under $5. I think this is like 
$3.99 and this shampoo is amazing because not only does it clean your hair in between actual like deep washes it's so good to like quickly refresh your hair and it adds so much volume in my hair it's crazy I like to just lift my hair like this spray like that and do you guys see it does leave a white cast which kind of sucks especially if you have like really dark hair like me um, but I just like to rub my fingers like this and within just a few seconds boom it's completely gone it's just like instantly refreshes my hair cleans my hair and it also adds a ton of volume I think I forgot to mention that but it does because this is also the volume and fullness shampoo this is from the drugstore buy this you're gonna love it and it also smells really really nice as well okay now I want to talk about a more higher-end dry shampoo and this one is from IGK now the dry shampoos from IGK are really really cool and very customizable depending on your hair type so this is actually in the medium strength I guess or medium cleanse level and then they have like a higher cleanse level and then they have a lower cleanse level so depending on like how greasy or oily or dry your hair is you can pick out a dry shampoo according to that I just went with medium and this works fabulously for my hair again to just like refresh my hair clean my hair in between washes I'm just gonna shake the bottle and spray the IGK and as you guys can see this one actually doesn't leave a gray or like white cast in my hair but still I just like to massage this in with my fingers it's like a little pampering session in the morning and then I just continue on with my styling it smells really nice and again it adds like so much volume my body in my hair and I just love it so much okay now for my favorite hair masks and I was never the type of person that was like obsessed with hair masks until after dyeing my hair I always did use hair masks but I would use them maybe like once in a month or so but of course after I dyed my hair and realized it wasn't as soft as it was before and it was like more dry and just needed like a little bit more love than just using my conditioner I started to incorporate hair masks in my hair care routine and you guys my hair has truly truly transformed it's so much softer now it styles better and my two favorites are actually like one is super high-end and the other one's from the drugstore so I'm gonna give you guys like the best of both worlds but these two are my favorite hair masks so the first one like I said is from Karis Dust and this is the Chrono Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce this. I'm just gonna leave the name somewhere in this video. And of course, I will link this and the other products in the description box below. Now, like I said, this is super expensive because it's right around like $70 for this, like for this tub right here. But you only need the tiniest amount of product, and this is like a miracle hair mask. This makes my hair like super soft, silky, smooth. It also like refreshes my scalp. And I just, I don't know, my hair just feels stronger after I use this mask. So the way that I like to use this is I just apply a little bit all over my hair, focusing on my scalp and of course my ends and literally like all over my hair. And I leave this on for about five minutes and then I wash my hair and like style as usual. And like I said, my hair just looks amazing. So if you guys are looking for a high end hair mask, the Kara Stas one is amazing and I just can't recommend this enough. But recently, I discovered the Garnier Color Vibrancy Treat 1 Minute Hair Mask and this is amazing. Like seriously, this is such a good drugstore find. First of all, it smells amazing. It smells like, I don't even know what it smells like. It smells like fruits and like vacation and like so delicious. Like I just want to eat this mask. And again, I don't know if you guys can even see here. But it has like the same consistency as the Kara Stas one, except that this is only a one minute hair mask. And if you're not someone that's like used to using a hair mask, just go ahead and purchase the one from Garnier because it's super affordable. Try it out, use it once a week, and you guys will see over time your hair is just going to like transform and look so amazing. Okay, now for my favorite hair oils, and I honestly feel like after using oils in my hair on a continuous basis, my hair has just gotten so much stronger even though there's like bleach in my hair. It's gotten so much stronger, it feels really really soft and it's growing so fast. So my first favorite oil to use of course is coconut oil. One of my favorite coconut oil brands is Kopari and this is their coconut melt. This is honestly the most luxurious coconut oil I've ever used. 
but I also use a coconut oil from Trader Joe's. I also have one from Whole Foods. I recently also got this little guy from Vita Coco. I didn't even know they had hair oils. I haven't tried this one out yet, but any coconut oil will do. Even the Indian like parachute brand, like literally any coconut oil, but use it in your hair and it just makes your hair so shiny, so like, healthy and like it just sells even better so i really love using coconut oil in my hair at least two times a week and then the other times i like to use a combination of these two oils right here this is from a brand called vodka naturals and i believe this is an indian brand i have had these two oils for such a long time now and i lost them for a while and then i rediscovered these recently and i've been using them non-stop I like to mix both of these two together. So I do like a teaspoon of each, make my own little like hair oil cocktail, apply this all over my hair, and my hair just like looks and feels so healthy after using these. I also have to talk about this little guy right here. This is again from Moroccan Oil, and this is their Moroccan Oil treatment. I believe that this is like their best selling product. This is amazing, you guys. So I'm actually gonna show you how I like to use this. So even though I, this is like such a little bottle, this will last you a really, really long time because you literally just want to take like the tiniest drop ever, massage this in your hair, and then I like to just use this on my ends. I've noticed that my ends have been really dry since like dyeing my hair, and before I cut it, like especially on my split ends, I noticed that they were feeling like just like super, super dry, and so that's why I've been using this Moroccan oil treatment just on my ends and you can see it doesn't make my hair look greasy in any way but it just adds like the most subtle shine and it conditions my dry ends so this oil right here I only like to use on my ends and like I said even if you purchase like this tiny little baby bottle this will last you forever because you saw I literally just took one drop and that's all I needed for my length of hair Okay, now I'm going to talk about my favorite styling products, and these are going to be super, super quick. I've talked about all of these before, so this shouldn't be a surprise to anyone, but like I said, I'm going to just breeze through them really, really quick. Starting off with this guy right here. This is the Aveda Thickening Tonic, and this says that this instantly thickens for a fuller style. Now this, I think, is like my third, maybe my fourth bottle. I freaking love this stuff. Um, I just like to use this like right after I wash my hair when my hair is still a little bit wet. I like to just spray a little bit all over my hair, focusing mostly on my roots. And then I like to blow dry my hair and my hair just like instantly goes from like super flat to like woo, like so much volume. Okay, next up I have my favorite heat styling product or like heat protecting product. This is from Chi and this is the 44 Iron Guard. I love this so much right before I like blow dry my hair or straighten my hair or curl my hair or use like hot rollers in my hair. I always just have to use a little bit of this Iron Guard. I love it so much. I've had this for such a long time. Just a few sprays will do for like my entire head. And the best part is that you can actually purchase this exact product from your local like Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. They have those on like super sale. So make sure you buy it there versus like, uh, you know, like any other retailer because you get like a crazy discount. And I just love that so much to protect my hair from the heat, which is super, super important. And now last but not the least, my favorite hair cream. And to be honest with you, I'm not like the biggest fan of hair creams. There's just a few that I like from like a few different brands. But I tried this one and I absolutely love it. And it does such a good job at like taming my flyaways. Now this is from Fedric Fakai, and this is called the One, the Tamed One Anti-Frizz Balm. So you only need, again, the tiniest bit of product. So this should last you a really, really long time. The thing I noticed with hair products is a little bit definitely goes a very long way. Now right now, I don't have like too much frizziness going on, but I just massage the product all over my hands, and then I just like to do this. like just like on the top of my head where my frizziness is I just like to apply this hair cream and it does such a good job it's just like taming my hair getting rid of the frizz without making my hair look like oily or greasy you guys can see my hair still looks like super fresh and clean 
and it still does a really good job at taming my friends. So if you guys have really frizzy hair, this is a really good product to try. All right, everyone, I feel like this video is going to be like 45 minutes long between like my vlog of cutting my hair and dyeing my hair again to all these products. This is gonna be a long video, but I really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. So many of you guys requested this video for such a long time, so hopefully some of you guys found this video useful. As usual, I will be sure to link all the products that I mentioned in the description box below. Follow me on all of my social media. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and let me know what other videos you guys want to see for my channel in the future in the comment section below and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!